Hello, this is Sarah McIntyre. I'm in my studio where I work and today is actually my birthday, which is exciting, except I do need to work today. But something really cool happened. Um, I got on the internet a while back and ordered myself some birthday present, which was a lot of Tara Books new stock because I've just done lots of reprinting. And so I thought I'd do a little unboxing for you so you can see all the cool stuff that just arrived literally about like 20 minutes ago. So this is very exciting. So I'm going to show you what Tara Books has to offer. And I think you might be really amazed by some of the stuff they create. They're based in Chennai in India. You can see it's all nicely packaged here. Um, and they, they really um, showcase a lot of amazing Indian artists' work. I've been really interested in sort of the art of northern India, particularly like in um, Bihar and the lowlands of Nepal. They have this kind of art called Mithila. It's really, really gorgeous. It's it's a very sort of way of drawing. It's, it's different than Western drawing. It's kind of um, much more like less perspective and more about shape and pattern and very much line. Like it's got this double line they use in Mithila art that I really, really like. I'm, I'm quite keen on line anyway. So let's see, here we go. So this one is the Enduring Ark. And um, this is the Indian version of the biblical tale of the Great Flood, illustrated in the Bengal Patua style of scroll painting. So this one's going to be, I think I have to pull it out of the box. Ooh, look at this. This is lush. And Gita Wolf is the editor on these. Which is absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's so like abstract and awesome. And it's all in a scroll. So I can actually pull the whole book out. I could put it up on the wall. And it's on the back as well. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun really looking at this in detail. You never know what you're quite what you're gonna get with tarot books. They just the forms are so cool. Like they don't just stick to normal book form. Look at just the richness of that. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to have a lot of stuff to look at in the evenings. Okay, the next one is, oh, is a girl selling fruit. And this is done, um, this is by Amrita Das. And it's very much um, in the Mithila style and you can sort of see the way of drawing. I love that pattern that they do on trees. You can see there's some of the artwork. I'm really looking forward to exploring this. See so this way of drawing roads. I love the way they draw modern stuff in Mithila art. Like it's really kind of not as we would draw it, but it's it's a very new approach to it. And I want to see more of that. Just this, I think this is a railway. Yeah, this is a railway, which. It's just not the way we would draw it in, in sort of London, but it's incredible. I really like the new fresh ideas. They do another one called the London Jungle Book they published, which I bought ages ago. See, look at that. The, the perspective is really different. It's amazing. This one just won a big award in, I think, in Germany. Um, and they've got it translated into English now. And it's by a Western illustrator. I think she might be German as well. Christiana Piper, illustrating Anushka Ravishankar. It's a very kind of nice limited palette. It's all the hiccups. I used to really have problems with the hiccups when I was a kid. Like seriously, I would get them once if I got them once in a day. I never stopped. I would just get them all day. Look at that beautiful limited palette. The rain coming down and the kind of Indian buildings in the back. I think she did another one about an elephant, elephants of long memories or something like that. And I remember it's one of the first books I reviewed for right away, maybe 10 years ago. It's a long time ago. Look at that. Got a little detail on this fish. They're kind of like Dr. Seuss fish, but I actually like them even more. I think they're really characterful. They're really beautiful. It does kind of harken to that sort of style. Can't wait to dig into that. Okay, this is a history of children's picture book. I have no idea what to expect on this. I, it's quite it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. It looks really cool. And I have no idea what to tell you about this yet. I'm going to go and read it and enjoy it, hopefully. So 
lots about history and I'm, it's kind of it's slightly from a non-western perspective which i'll be kind of interested to see this is by um girdra yanka Vicioti and the gita so i'll find out about that here's alone in the forest by Jaji Sham. I think he's the one that did a London Jungle book as well, which is just amazing. Look at the trees in here. Very nice night forest. I think his work is called Gond, the way they, they draw it, style. So it's got a lot of mythola overlap. It's really hard oh, to explore into these. I love the way he draws patterns on the backgrounds of things. Like, you wouldn't draw patterns like that one. Reminds me a little bit of some Russian woodblock printing of kind of two centuries ago. It's that sort of very similar crossover effects there. Um, this one is Mother Steals a Bicycle and Other Stories. I wasn't sure about this one, but it's just, it's, it's got such a unusual storyline about a mother stealing a bike that I was, you know it doesn't sound like a normal moralistic tale so I thought oh I'm gonna have to try this out so I've, again I have no idea what to expect I think that's mother and her bicycle this is by um, Salai Sevlam, Salvam and Shruti Badhavarapu and illustrations by Tejebhu uh, Tejebhu Hehan he sorry I need to learn how to pronounce these names better I'm actually trying to learn um the, this sort of script that they would use just so I can get a better sense of how to pronounce these because I absolutely butcher them, the names. And it's kind of embarrassing. Uh, let's see. Sita's Ramayana. This is by Samhita Arni and Moina Chitrakar. And again, I have no idea what to expect on this one. I'm trying to learn a bit more about mythology too. This is kind of Ramayana stuff. I think it's supposed to be more from a woman's perspective, which would be interesting. It's a bit, it looks a bit like a comic. So I'm curious to see where that will go. There we go. That's that one. Um, this is Origins of Art, the Gond village of Patangar. And Gond, I don't know as much about Gond art because I do about Mithila. Well, I don't know that much about either, but I'm learning and I'm just kind of interested in the origins and, you know, who inspires it, what does, what do they do with it, what are the kind of ideas behind the art. It's, it's beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of sort of Aboriginal art as well. It's got a mix of different, and that woodblock printing that I was telling you from Europe, the sort of turn of the century. So I'm curious what this is going to be. This is kind of a read, a read book. Like sit down and lots of chapters and stuff. Uh, we've got an Indian beach. This is by Joël Jolivet. I think it's a French illustrator. Um, but it's it's just basically a, an Indian beach. And Tara mostly published Indian artists, but I'm kind of curious. They also do occasionally European artists who do Indian themes. And I'd like to see what they come up with as well. This has a very woodcut look to it. I'll explore. This is a scroll, just like the other book, the one about the flood. So, so it's a long, long beach strip. Whoa, this is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Really cool. And the insides are all fish in the sea itself. So you can see inside the sea. figure out how to put it back. Oh, there we go. And last but not least, this one, Tsunami. I actually saw this on sale in a um, London bookshop in the window. It was really expensive and I thought, oh gosh, I can't afford that. And then I saw it on, they were, it was printed on the Tara book site because they, they run out of printings a lot of the times because some of these things are actually screen printed each page by hand. <laughs> so, um, so they do run out of print, print runs and then they get really rare and valuable and if, if they don't 
have any more. I was so glad to see they still had this on sale because they just announced it. I'm on their newsletter. I subscribed to their newsletter and they said that um, they just reprinted a bunch of things. So I was like on it. So here we go. This is another fold book. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. So it folds this way. Oh, it smells so good. It's that nice screen printing ink smell. is great so that's another scroll book that's really beautiful oh man I wish I could show you the smell of this it's lovely and that's by Joy Deb and Moina Jitrakar so there you go that's my unboxing for Tara Books and I definitely recommend go on the Tara Books website and look at their stuff because it's absolutely amazing thank you